I'm Alexander Sanchez-Jones and I'm a researcher at uh, Alnitec Research Institute. One of our main projects is the study of a cetacean species, which is the Rissos dolphin, as a monitoring tool for marine protected areas. This animal it's uh, totophagous, which means that it uh, feeds mainly on squid and octopus. And this means that they are very, very highly associated with steep bottom topography, such as uh, seamounts, such as um, underwater canyons and escarpments. And these areas are really, really productive for just biodiversity in general in the open sea ecosystem. Therefore, it's a species that can be used as a really good indicator of the overall health of this uh, ecosystem. The way that we study them is, is really we go and find them in the open sea and we can only do this because our research ship Toftavag spends so much time in the open water. This allows us to, to encounter them quite often actually around the Balearic Islands in particular. What we do is we mainly take photographs apart from other data and these photographs are going to serve as a way of identifying them because each dolphin has a, a unique dorsal fin, just like our fingerprints. The first thing that anyone notices about this species is that they have all these scratches and uh, that the, the young animals are grey and the older they get, they get whiter. And this is one of the strangest things about this species. A lot of those, uh, those white scratches are scars that they make between themselves in their social interactions. Essentially, this, uh, this, these scars, they lose pigmentation. Because the whiter, the older they are. But they're also just really, really fascinating. They have uh, a really interesting social life. It, it seems that they probably jump from one group to another, but, but our data so far also shows that there are some individuals that are really, really close and they form these kind of long friendships. This is a project that uh, one ship and one small research team just couldn't do on their own. One of the joys of doing this job is the collaboration and the working really closely with, with different colleagues and even the general public. Anyone really that has an opportunistic uh, encounter with the animals can send us a photograph, they can send us the GPS position, the date, the time, and this can contribute directly to our, to our research. Um, as long as these interactions, of course, are respectful. Alnitec is really about the people that compose it and the people that just come and, and have this amazing willingness to, to contribute towards something positive and you know, just spread this message that uh, there's a lot of negative but we should focus definitely on you know, what each of us can do uh, because there's quite a lot that can be done especially if we join forces. 